right guys, we're gonna take a look at the Vitus today, the Walkera Vitus, it came in. Um, you know, this is something I would have never normally bought, but it was 200 bucks because you know, they discontinued them and they wanted to clear everything out. So this drone nerds, I guess they got a whole pile of them coming in. So I got the last one of the second shipment. They had a shipment in a few weeks ago. I tried to get one, I was too late. The second shipment came in. They went fast, they go fast. And, you know, I happened to get the last one on the second shipment, but I happened to talk to the guy uh, when I was asking him about the shipping and he told me that they were gonna get more in. So that, and they're being shipped, not from Florida where the drone nerds are, because those are the people that are repairing my Mavic Pro but they're shipped out of uh, Houston. So that's where it'd be shipped from if you were to buy one. But, uh, you know, I had a couple people leave me some comments on that picture I put up. They wanted me to get it open and get it flying as fast as possible. So I'm gonna hurry up and throw an unbox on you, but I can't get it out and fly because I'm having gale force winds up here for the last few days. I went up to Lake Donegal. I flew the Mavic, the Mavic Air. Yeah, that was it. I flew that for, uh, about six minutes and uh, the wind was so bad I had to bring it back okay here it is it says pass on the sticker there that's always a bad sign right there it says pass <laughs> yay okay we'll put that up there I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera there's a nice little thing there that's pretty cool looking there's inside the box right here here's the manual quick start guide version 1.0 may 12th 2017 okay now the most important part we're going to check the most important part first and that's going to be the battery and that's going to be inside here i watched dustin dustin's unboxing so i know where everything is uh, this is the power supply here that's inside there so here's the battery and the battery is a is that the size on there oh it's on this side it's a 5200 milliamp hour 11.4 volts it's a beefy sucker I'll tell you that now there is no swelling at all zero and I'm gonna pinch the uh, turn on the thing here press the button and you'll see it's at the storage charge so it's never been charged so I got lucky and got a decent battery I've bought these kind of closeouts before and the batteries were crap that was that little Jamie but they made it right they sent me another one so I'm not complaining about that uh, here's some spare props, two boxes of them, so it's probably one whole set. There's the quadcopter inside there. Here's the transmitter. I'm trying to get that out of there one-handed. I didn't feel like setting all this crap up. The transmitter has a, wow, really nice, really nice feel to it. Real meaty and feels good. You open it like that. I guess that's where the phone sits in there. Here, these things open and close right here. And then the antenna are over here and behind it. And those pull out. I don't know if they spin around or not, but they pull out at least. So right there would be how that setup is. That surprises me that they don't move around any more than that. Huh. That's kind of weird. Actually. Huh. Weird. I'll have to look into it. Then there's a plug for something right there there I'm not sure now this is a Wi-Fi deal here this doesn't run on uh, 
you know, like the other, you don't plug your phone into it and all that stuff. So, you know, the range is not going to be what it would be for a Mavic Pro or anything like that. There's a little port over there. I don't know what that's for. Like I said, I just want to show you guys this thing because somebody wanted to see it, you know, left a comment. So I'm just whipping it out here real quick. But anyway, the the transmitter looks real cool. It's got this little dial here on the front. It says manual, auto, and sport. So the mode switch right there, you can hear it clicking, actuating there. Yeah, I'll have to look into this a little bit more. It looks a little strange. But actually, it looks a, it works as a little stand. <laughs> See, like that. <laughs> okay, now you got this thing right here, which I'm not sure what this is all about. Heck, this might be some kind of holder, too. I'm just not sure, guys. We'll figure it out. By the time I get it out there to the park to fly it, I'll have it all figured out. Now, here's a bag of stuff down here. Here is the power supply cord. Here it says tools. There's a couple of Allen keys. And, yeah, okay, I see the props. That's a, for removing the props. That right there. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's a couple of dampers, a couple of extras for the gimbal. Then here's a micro USB cable. Uh, yeah, and it's a real long one too. You can see it's like a six footer in there. And then in here is a spare parts skid landing damping mat. It says right there. Not sure what that is. Might be for the feet. So we'll look at that when we take the quadcopter off. Basically, that's everything that's in the box. Now let me just set the camera down here for a second so I can get the uh, the quadcopter out of there. All right, there's the uh, quadcopter uh, opened up, and it's uh, pretty neat looking. It's got these feet that are I had. I haven't opened up yet. I'm going to flip it over and show you here the bottom of it. There's a fan right there, and there's some positioning stuff right there. Then here's the legs. They open up like that. Right like that. And then there's this one here. Last, last but not least. Very cool looking, very neat looking, let's put it that way. Now here's the <clears throat> props, <clears throat> and there's two little, I'm gonna try to get real close in on this, but I'll, since it's, I'm shooting this in 4K, I'll be able to zoom in on it. Let me see if I can get that right there, get my shadow out of the way. There's two Allen screws right there to hold the prop on, and they are really tiny, right there. Right there two of them for each one so yeah they're right there and then on the front it has uh, you get down here in the front there's some obstacle avoidance there in the front there's the camera there the gimbal guards still on it though right there there's the camera Right there. Get a little side view of it right there. Has the gimbal guard on. I'll see if I can pull that off of there. Okay, I got that pulled off. So you see it without the guard on. Right there. Let's see around the back. I don't think there's just a light back there. But it does have side obstacle avoidance too, not just in the front. It also has it on the side. And I'm going to show you that right. There's the little sensors right there. There's two of them on that side, two of them on the other side. 
and the two in the front. So it's got six sensors for that. And then there's the port right there for one that says, it says upgrade port. And then there's the reset button that'll reset it back to the factory spec. Some drones have that and some do not. Now I don't see where the SD card slot is, but I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I just have to prod around a little bit to find it. Sometimes they put these uh, things in some weird places. So, oh, I see it. Okay, here it is. It's in a weird spot, like I said. Okay, it's right there under this sticker. So I'm going to peel that sticker off. Right there. And it's right there. You see that little SD card sticking out of there? Okay, right there it is. I'll pop it out and we'll see what the size is. Let me get this box out of the way real quick because it's in my way. Right there it is. Right there it is. It's a Toshiba. What does that say? Xera. 16 gigabyte it's only a class one now i'll put a three in there but whatever okay there you go guys there's your little quick look at it i mean i couldn't pass it up for 200 bucks right okay what are you gonna do for 200 bucks seriously i bought major amounts of turds for 200 dollars. okay so this will I mean, I've seen the videos on it. Yeah, some of them flew away and all this. I mean, you just got to be careful until you get the feel of it, man. You know, it's not like I'm going to go to the park, take off, and go a thousand feet away. I'm going to probably keep it within 300 feet, you know, the first time I even fly it. So I'm going to get the feel of it, see how it acts and all that crap before I go, you know, taking it up to the lake or anything. So there you go, guys. Well, Kira Vitus, Vetus or whatever the hell they call it. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.